a billiard ball, armed to the teeth. That uniform looks a little big on him. It gives that psychopath a comical appearance. I'm afraid the brightest thing about this guy is the flashlight hanging from his belt. This pig is watching the street with all the tranquility and indifference his impunity gives him. The more I learn about this new world, the more I'm convinced those bastards don't have human blood running through their veins. But what terrifies me even more is that they do, and in abundance. Hey you! What are you doing here? Didn't you hear the curfew warning? Relax. Look at his wrist. He's got a mole bracelet. So you're one of those domesticated rats? You people disgust me. At least the rest of the worms at the camp have some dignity. But you guys, the moles, you're nothing more than a pack of treacherous stool pigeons. No doubt I have a great paragon of dignity before me. My hatred for these pigs has only grown and more so since the incident at the camp entrance with the Mole's children. Ruthless bastards. I just want to ask you guys a few questions. Do you know what the establishment was before the Great Wave? I can't say I do. I lived on the other side of town, but judging from what's left, I'd say it looks like it was a bookstore. Looks like it burned down to the ground after the Great Wave. Well, I for one am glad that nest of bookworms was destroyed. I never liked books. They always were a total waste of time. Is that right? At first glance, I would have taken you for someone with refined literary tastes. I think that description fits you to a T. Watch your mouth, you dirty rat! And don't think that bracelet would protect you. I could blow your head off without batting an eyelid. Don't forget who's in charge here. Why are you posted here? Just following orders, rat. We're here to protect and serve the inhabitants of this city. That's our mission. Yes, I can see how the people feel much safer with you around. We're doing our nightly rounds, and we have orders to keep a particular eye on this neighborhood. And why this neighborhood in particular? Well, as you can see, this area of the city was almost intact after the Great Wave. It was kind of a miracle. Most of the homes and businesses are still standing, so burglary attempts are pretty popular. If there's anything left in the city worth guarding, it's here. You ask a lot of questions. Have you come to steal something, rat? <sighs> no, of course not. With officers with all like you, I'd never dare do anything like that. I wouldn't provoke my partner too much if I were you. He's plenty jumpy today, and he's sometimes rather... Unpredictable. And as for you, blabbermouth, I'd watch my tongue if I were you. How I am is nobody's business. And you, get back to your nest, rat! So how's the night going? Very quiet, except for a shooting at the entrance to the city a few hours ago. I think someone tried to steal some food. And when that happens, you have to act decisively. That's our duty. It would be a fantastic night if it wasn't for those revolting cats. This damn neighborhood is infested with them. Cats? My partner doesn't like cats. And tonight they've been howling non-stop since we started our rounds. Filthy creatures. Filthy and pestilent. They are to blame for everything. I won't bother you anymore. Keep up the good work. Someone put this empty tin can on top of one of the trash cans. Up close, it looks like there are crumbs of dried food stuck to the bottom. No matter what you might think of the state of the city, these trash cans are practically empty. I guess generating garbage is a real luxury nowadays. In the old world, this building would have already been condemned and demolished as a ruin. But in the new world, it's got to be one of the best preserved I've seen in the city. Hmm. Those two pigs seem to be watching that entrance very intently. They probably pumped me full of lead before I got a chance to turn the doorknob. There was left of the cinema section. Only a couple of biographies survived the fire. Let's see, Dario Argento and John Carpenter. I don't have a good feeling about the deep red of the cover. I'm not going to take one. 
a copy of Heart of Darkness, with practically nothing left but the cover. I don't need to look through these pages. I've already seen the horror out there. Burnt paper. The whole place is full of it. Hey, wait. One of these posters has a photograph of Reverend Blake on it. The Beechwood Oracle Bookstore invites you to a reading of The Annihilation of Time, where you can meet the book's author, Edward Blake. Hmm. That explains why that deranged preacher had the card from this place in his pocket. On the other hand, I no longer have the slightest doubt as to the name of this establishment. It looks like only some of the loose boards from the shelves survived the fire. Ray Bradbury, H.G. Wells, George Orwell, Philip K. Dick, this shelf must have been part of the science fiction section, although I suppose that after the Great Wave, it would be more fitting to move them to the current events section. No, I doubt there's anything in these stories that could surprise me. Dystopia could be the city's last name. This screen doesn't look any better than the rest of the place. The fire turned it into a glob of plastic and glass, and there's nothing left of the computer it was connected to. No, computers are a deplorable waste of time when the hardware you're trying to use got wrecked in the Great Wave. The sign says, Emergency Exit, Beechwood Oracle Bookstore. Do not block. Well, it seems that in spite of the warning, this door is indeed blocked. I don't think I'm going to be able to open it that way. The sign says, Emergency Exit, Beechwood Oracle Bookstore. Do not block. Well, it seems that in spite of the warning, this door is indeed blocked. Doesn't look like it's going to be complicated to open this door with the crowbar. Done. They crisscross the building facade from top to bottom. And from what I've seen, this system of staircases is used only on the oldest buildings in the city. It rains over the building with its crown of twisted antennas and broken air conditioners. On the rim, there's a shiny object. Although at this distance, I can't make out what it is. Hey, wait a minute. Wait. Who the hell's over there? over there? I don't see anything. Look at that building. I saw something moving in that shadow on that wall. I think you're a little paranoid tonight. I told you to relax. Come on. Take a deep breath. Shut up! I bet it was one of those cats. All this is because this is those pestilent beasts that have been bothering us since we got here. I couldn't stand them! I better not let those two psychopaths down there see me. I should be very careful. Okay, I'll use the can to avoid touching those disgusting fish with my hands. I filled the empty can with the rotten fish from the fountain in Suicide Park, and now it stinks. It stinks to high heaven. Thank you. 
There you are, you mangy beasts! So you dared to come out, did you? Now I've got you! Ow! God, the revolting cat and cats! Soon I'll get each and every last one of you! I promise you! Don't get mad, Ed. Your technique's improving. Improve. You almost got one this time. Shut up! This is the end point of the cable that crosses the street and has streetlights hanging from it. Now I get it. This is the system that controls the amount of the amount of reaches each of the streetlights. Shit, why does nothing work like in this filthy city? Looks like a voltage surge, sir. Does you think the cat's cat lame? Shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. I'm not letting those flea bit beasts out of my sight. No chance, mate. Can I ask you guys a few questions? You again, rat! Be my guest. I want more. Keep up the good work. The fire escapes on the building extend down from that rooftop. Hmm. I can't stop my eyes fixating on that gleam of metal I see on the edge. What the hell could it be? Hey, wait a minute. I... I've seen this place before. I've been here. I recognize this rooftop. Those trees. The park. The statue. Tomorrow comes today. Of course! The photo from the poster! It was shot from someplace in this very building. But what's the meaning of all this? And could it be that the voice wasn't actually trying to lead me to that burned out bookstore down there? But rather to this building? To this place? It's a sculpture from my poster. Maybe it was an allegory of happy fatherhood, until the great wave turned it into a depiction of Saturn devouring his children. These benches, fountains, and statues are in a ramshackle condition. 
whereas the vegetation in this park is almost completely recovered since the catastrophe. Well, if that proves our failure as a species, a ton of useless objects are piling up in this corner. Nothing interesting. I guess that's the reason the neighbors left them here. It's an empty, rusty bucket. Part of all this junk left behind. So this is the gleam of metal that seems so interesting from down there? Hmm. What a disappointment. The blades of this contraption must have stopped turning months ago. And I don't think doing without it is the owner's biggest problem right now. There's a piece of paper stuck to the door, and it looks like it has a handwritten message on it. Let's see what it says here. Who could Sarah be? And this Chris, could he have something to do with the person I saw in my vision? There's a metal plaque on the wall next to the door. Michael Argent, photographer. I can't believe it. This is the apartment of a man named Michael, an apartment located above the Beechwood Oracle bookstore, and in the building where the photograph on the poster was taken. Can all this really be a coincidence? It's hard to believe, but is it possible that the voice in my head has been guiding me to my own front door? Of course, it's locked, and I think it's better if I don't try to pick the lock. I could be mistaken for a burglar, and the last thing I need right now is for someone to call the guard call patrolling this area. The front door of this apartment has been reinforced with, reinforced with various locks and bolts. Despite the surveillance by the soldiers, the, peop the people who living must be terrified, terrified of burglary. No, no. Comes that sense, comes that sensation. It's like floating, floating liquid while everything around me is training is formed. God, God. I think I'm starting to lose. Can I ask you guys a few questions? Zugen, rat! Be my guest. I won't bother you anymore. Keep up the good work. Isn't it time for you to go back to your nest, rat? That ignorant bastard is starting to get on my nerves. Yes. I do have to be going. By the way, how did the chase go? Were those cats too quick for you? You'd better go. It's not in your best I, you, interest to treat my partner any more agitated. Not tonight. I, you shut your mouth, you rat, you rat. I'll shut it for you. I won't warn you again. Those beasts are possessed. And I'm going to exterminate them. And I them by one. With my bad hands if I have to. I'm sure I'm sure you the pride of the force. Just one more thing. Try to stay away from the trash cans next time. I've warned you, you filthy rat! You've worn out my patience! Ow! This'll teach you to treat me with a little more respect! I'm going to wipe that stupid grin off your face! Ouch! This is the only language you shitheads from the refugee camp understand! So, you're going to treat me with respect now, aren't you? Come on, leave him alone. You'll kill him. He is a mole after all, and it's in our interest to keep him alive. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, you're safe for now. 
Uh, but I have a very good memory for favors. Another day, I'll finish what we started, rat. I swear it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Hmm. That pig must have left the flashlight on the floor after hitting me, and then forgotten it there. Okay, I'll use the bucket for what it was designed for, to be filled with water. Before I go down, I'll leave the heavy stuff here, in case the rope doesn't support my weight. I'll get my stuff. Here goes. Maybe we can still salvage something from the fire. Now that the fire is out, I don't intend to carry this rusty bucket around anymore. I'll get rid of it. The head of one of Colin's dolls is sticking out of the charred mess. It sends shivers down my spine to think that this hunk of plastic belonged to little Colin. It's a sinister image, considering the boy's fate. Let's see. I'll use the rusty nails to attach these two objects together. Using tons of imagination, we can say that I've built an improvised and primitive cradle. Oh God, it's horrible. Thank you, Mr. Sleepyhead. This cradle is just like the one in the picture. Now I can rock my baby to sleep and sing to him. But now I need you to find the baby. I won't tell you your secret if you don't bring me my baby. Bring me my baby boy, Mr. Sleepyhead. Okay, don't worry, Rose. I'll do it. Hmm, I'm not proud of what I'm about to do but I need to find out that secret Rose is keeping from me. And if she wants her baby, I'll give her back her baby. I brought you your baby, Rose. Did you bring me my baby? Did you bring him? Thank you so much, Mr. Sleepyhead. You kept your word. You brought me my baby. Now I need you to tell me that secret you promised to reveal if I brought what you asked. Yes, our secret. I have something that belongs to you, Mr. Sleepyhead. It's the key that opens your chest of dreams. And now, it's yours again. But it's a real key. Where did you get it? I found it in your jacket after Rod and his wife gave me your clothes. When I got to my room, the key fell on the floor and made a clinking sound. I had just seen you sleeping in their trailer, like a big bear. And then I figured it out. It was the key to the chest where you were keeping your dreams. Because you like to dream, don't you? Of course you do. That's why your name is Mr. Sleepyhead. The key that opens my chest of dreams. Thank you very much for your help, Rose. 
Take good care of your son. I should be going now. No, please. Don't go. Don't leave me here. Now that I've found my baby, I have to get away from here. Far away. I have to get away from the haunted castle. If you leave, more men will come and hurt me, and they'll lock me up in the dark again. And I can't stand the dark. That's when those soldiers come back and take me with them. And now they'll want to hurt my baby, too. The hunter was clear. I mustn't get mixed up in his affairs, or there'll be a hell to pay. I'm sorry, Rose. I can't do anything. Mr. Sleepyhead, I can't stand it anymore. Don't let them touch me again. Please help me. You have to get me out of here. Like the knight in the stories. You're my knight, and I'm your princess. Oh, good God. This is unbearable. Victims and executioners. It sums things up. And what was I? What was my role before the Great Wave? Damn it. I can't just leave that poor girl to her fate. I have to do something to save her, even if I don't know what that is yet. I'll help you, Rose. I'll help you get out of here. Thank you, Mr. Sleepyhead. Do you promise? Will you be my knight in shining armor? Yes. <laughs> Let's see if my intuition is correct. Yes, the key that opens my chest of dreams is a key that in key that in belongs to the long argent. Photographer, photographer, the key, the key own apartment. The outside of this closet is covered with photos cut out of magazines and newspapers. It looks disproportionately huge in this tiny apartment. Wow, wow, classic model, classic but famous brand of instant cameras, gathering dust on the on what this. Inside, in there are dozens of compartments for cameras, cameras, and benzes, but they're all empty, empty. It's strange. There's not a trace of photographic material in this closet. It's the backdrop I use for the photography I did at home. It's hanging down from that wooden beam, held, held in bruise. No, I'd rip it if I tried to pull it down without first taking, first taking out the screws. I wouldn't waste too much waste on this. Pounding on the screws holding the fabric won't do anything to loosen them. This must be the corner where I did my least complicated photocopied jobs. Jobs. White backdrop and these two shattered lamps. Their lamps to light the scene. It's exact view of the view of the park and that appears in the photo on the poster. No doubt, this must have been one of my simplest and most lucrative jobs. I can I it without even leaving the house. Hmm. The corner of a photograph peeking out of this old music box. Can't be, can't be. It's me. It's photo, photo. I remember it. I remember this photograph. Please, Michael, help us. Only you can do it. And this woman is, she's Emily. She's my wife. Now I remember her. The person who's been communicating with me. I'm Emily. I love you, Michael. I'll pronounce you. Don't ever leave me. I won't, I won't. I have something to tell you, Mike. Tell you, Mike. Are you really? 
Oh, yes! If things are going well between us, Michaels, you know that. It's only a rough patch. It's, you, it's all your fault! You have to get on top of this, Michael. It's destroying both of us. I'm afraid of you. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Everything will be different. If, remember that vacation we took to the beat? To the, when we were getting to know each other? Know each, every, every back to the way it was. Promise me. I, pr I promise. Oh, Emily. What does all this mean? Where are you? How can I find you? What are these messages you keep repeating in my head? I've lost my mind. Lost my mind. I've lost my mind. That, that's the only logical explanation for this. Oh, Emily. My poor Emily. Where are you? How can I find you? This melancholy amused my hair stand on end. I, I seem to be hearing the sad Emily in every note. Where are you? How can I find you? you? As dry and as empty as the contents of my memory, I see various liquor bottles scattered around the room. That ex that explore I find so and find so unbearable. It has a multitude of little drawers, drawers. All alphabetical, alphabetical. The existence of something, something so logical and orderly in this place surprises me. Ju Judge in my place. I was, I was obviously a messy person. Person. Ender Tribune. That's the name of the newspaper. Now I understand. This file cabinet holds copies of copies of new magazines. My zines. My photos appeared in. It seems like as a photographer, I was very fond of my fond of my own work. Bjorn City, Bjorn City paper. The type. First, I'll put the newspaper I took back and took back in its place. As much as I might like my might like those photos, I have no intention of finding any more paper. Any more paper there. Dolphin News. One of the one of the members stored in the filing cabinet. Cabinet. It's the it's the note I found on the door to the apartment. The apartment. Who could see? And this Chris. Something to do with the person I, the person I saw in my vision. Solstice Times. That's the newspaper. Newspaper. Solstice Times. The title of this title of this publication appears in the front page. First, I'll put the newspaper I took back in its place. Much as it likes I like my old photos, I have no intention of carrying around any more paper than necessary. Sandy Ridge. Sandy Ridge. Sent one of the many one of the many newspaper filing cabinet. Filing cabinet. The new truth. That's the that's the name of this newspaper. First, I'll put the newspaper I took back in its place. As as much like my old photos, I have no intention of carrying around carrying around paper, any more paper than this. The new truth. The new the newspaper for those who have woken up. It look it looks like publication, even though it was produced during budget during budget. It's the note at the note at door to the apartment. apartment. Who could Sarah? And this Chris? Could he have something to do with the person I saw in my vision? The the new the newspaper newspaper for those who have woken up. It looks like a decent. Show. Even though it was produced, was produced in a shoestring budget. The address of the address of the office is at the bottom of the page, and the article and the article on the front page is under the byline of one Chris Owen. Owen. The office of the office is at the bottom of the first page, and the article on the front on the front is under the byline of one Chris Blunst Blunstone.
It seems like a good idea. Like, yeah. But the GPS signal is very weak in here. I think it I think it will use it in an open area. Open area. Red doors. Of course. The letters T and T on the letterhead of Sarah and Chris's note stand for the newspaper, the new truth. I'll enter the address of the newspaper office shown on the front page. The map indicates a place near the main avenue of the city. Will it still be standing? Let's go find out. 